morning everyone, Dr. Eric, your fitness physician, and I uh, hope everyone is having a great day. just want to do a quick follow video. I, sh I put a quick uh, image up yesterday and I want to talk about the immune system, a lot of things that we can do. Of course, everyone now with, of course, with COVID, et cetera, uh, worried about the immune system being run down and things that we can do to keep ourselves healthy and well. Um, a lot of lifestyle things we can talk about and I, I will touch on that as well. But I want to talk again about thymus and alpha-1. It's a great peptide uh, with many, many uses. I've talked about it before in previous videos, but it's great uh, in the fact that uh, in terms of uh, helping uh, its function and helping your body's immune system function because that's what it does. It's a naturally produced peptide that our body makes. It's made in our thymus gland. We have a lot of it as, as in our youth, but unfortunately it drops and decreased production as we get older. But it's a 28 amino acid. Um, peptide that's naturally made. Now, uh, the, the FDA approved version is called Zidaxin, but it's basically the same thing. So thymus and Zidaxin uh, is, is made to basically uh, exactly replicate the, th the uh, peptide that our body makes, similar to bioidentical hormones. So basically uh, functions on these receptors called toll-like receptors. And basically that has to do with immune mediation in the body. This is what the it does naturally in the body. And there's nothing different uh, with the peptide that's made. So basically what it does is it helps support the adaptive immune system. There's the innate immune system, the adaptive immune system. It does help with both, but the adaptive and, and the immune are two slightly two different things. But the bottom line is that especially uh, it helps to support uh, production of uh, the body's uh, kind of defense system, I guess. And in terms of the immune system, there's, you've probably read about there's T cells and B cells. Uh, the T cells are the ones that kind of uh, are more involved with uh, fighting uh, intracellular uh, pathogens or, or like viruses and, back to, and parasites that go inside the cell. With the humoral immunity is where it would produce the antibodies, those little Y-shaped uh, little, little, little molecules that go and attach to bacteria and things and help to engulf them. So basically, the, this is helping with both of those. This is what it does. This is what the adaptive immune system does in the humoral immunity, which I just talked about. Um, it basically helps to uh, body to recognize uh, invaders. You know, again, viruses, uh, pac bacteria, uh, parasites, and helps. And the body will and then attack and engulf and destroy them. That's the whole point. A lot of these viruses evade these disease systems by uh, getting inside the cells and putting up little, having little ways to alter the cells so that the body can't recognize that. So. Uh, the th uh, Thymosin actually re reverses that. It reverses those little receptors that stick out so the body can recognize that and then attack it. It sends in the, what's called the macrophages. I mentioned the T cells, the B cells, and then those activate um, uh, macrophages, which are like little Pac-Man of our system that go in and attack and kill uh, these invaders. So um, that's, that's one of the things that it does. And again, uh, thymosin can boost uh, health of production of cytokines like I, you know, interleukin-2, uh, interferon alpha, IL-7, IL-15, which again are more um, help with that, that pathway of immune recognition. As I mentioned, it, it boosts the function of the CD4 and the TH and different subtypes. Of, there's different subtypes of uh, T cells, B cells called TH1, TH2. A lot of times there's an imbalance. And again, one's, when one's a little bit out of, out of whack, uh, thymus can help, can help to balance that out. And the TH1 is, again, more helpful for intracellular pathogens like viruses. Um, so same with the natural killer cells. Um, basically, the, again, those are similar that they will also go in and fight off infections and other uh, threats to our body. Um, and a little more geeky, but um, the times it's also boost uh, an anti-inflammatory pathway called a nuclear factor kappa beta, and then there's a, the P38 MAPK pathway. Again, this is just has to do with the optimizing immune function. Um, one last thing is that it can also uh, boost the production of uh, glutathione, which is our body's natural antioxidant, which can definitely get depleted and run down during times of illness or stress or being attacked by a virus or a path, other type of pathogen, this can help uh, to raise that and replenish that because we need that to, to fight off excessive stress, inflammatory stress in our body and keep our body engaged and functioning properly. So bottom line is it can basically support our body's ability to be antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal. A lot of other lifestyle and supplement things that I've talked about in previous videos, of course, um, you know, supplementing with uh, vitamin C and echinacea, uh, garlic, uh, vitamin D, um, and there's some talk about and things like elderberry and uh, other things that like andrographis uh, is another good one. Uh, a lot of these things come in just and you get those little packets of airborne. It has vitamin C, zinc, and echinacea. You can also supplement with zinc or aged uh, uh, garlic extract um, is what I like. Um, vitamin D, most people are taking that around here in Ohio anyway. And at least a couple thousand IUs a day, but even uh, most people are, uh, most of my patients are taking 5,000 IUs a day. Um, even t uh, Tagamet has been shown to have some anti um, antiviral and immune supportive uh, properties as well. Um, there's a lot of other peptides as well. We talked about thymus and alpha-1, but thymus and beta-4 is another good one, uh, which it helps, has benefit with immune system function. Um, 
pentacene polysulfate is another one, and C-lank, which is a C typically one that we've used for cognitive function, uh, memory and attention, but it's been shown to have some uh, antiviral actions as well. So if anyone who wants to uh, find out more or get some more information about any of these, uh, please reach out to me. I hope everyone is being safe, doing the basics, washing their hands, not touching their face, uh, and I hope everyone is well in this time. Everyone have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.